Welcome to Real Estate in the Low Country. Back with me is Sherry Nixon, and she is, of course, with Keller Williams. Good to see you. Great to be here. Yes, we're on a beautiful day here in the I Low know. Country. It's January. The sun is out, and you know you feel like you have the island to yourself yes. here in January. It's just, it's like a secret. It is a secret. January used to be my least favorite month of the year, and now mm -hmm. it's one of my more favorite months. I know. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, because you can get out and it's sunny and. Have Still to place yourself. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, some exciting news. You're yes. shooting a commercial, and we're gonna, you know, we're so excited to see how that turns out. But yes. in it, you're kind of giving some advice to sellers. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so I was gonna shoot a short commercial here and just really talk to sellers about um, what to do if you have someone that approaches you directly, maybe the buyer or the agent, maybe the agent calls you, comes to the house, sends you an email saying they have a buyer for your house. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit of a warning, I think. Yes, 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 I have a warning for them because, you know, I think that someone might come to them and say, I've got such and such price, and they think, oh my goodness, I could never get that price, right. I just should take it. Well, it's kind of as if, you know, we know it's um, a unique commodity right now to have a house. I'm yeah, thinking right. if there's seven houses for sale in Sea Pines and you've got a great unique house in Sea Pines. Let's say you went to an auction and you said, you know, the auctioneer said, we're going to start at such and such bid and someone raises their paddle and says, I'll pay that. And then they just said, okay, we're we'll take it. And didn't give all the other people out there the chance right. to bid on that house. Right. And, and we know in this market that many of the houses do come with several bits. Yes, yes. So, so what we want to do, I mean, my warning is don't do that. Don't just take the first offer, not even on the MLS. What you need to do is get an experienced realtor and put it on the MLS, put it on for at least 48, 72 hours and put a time frame in there that you are going to keep it on. You're not going to accept that first offer and wait for competitive bids to come. Okay, so let's talk about competitive bids a little bit. Let's delve into that because, you know, that's a term that we hear bandied about quite a bit lately. How do you know what is a competitive bid? Okay, so it can be not just about price. You're going to want to get as many offers as you can, and you're going to take the terms, the price, all of that, and figure out what's the best offer for you. So as a buyer, you need to be creative about your terms, and as a seller, you get to choose from those terms. For example, I had a buyer that bought a house they weren't or they were going to put in an offer and they weren't going to be here for months mm. so they didn't care so we offered back and said we would close and let them stay in the house for two months for no rent this so, is great yes yes so that's a competitive offer Fair. and we won i mean i think we had a good price but it was probably really similar to others yet that person was like oh my goodness if i could take my time to move out not have to rush right so that was a competitive bid and it really really won and that wouldn't have been offered if someone just came to their door and said here you go right mm -hmm. right so let's talk a little bit further about being with a realtor because yes. obviously I happen to have an experienced oh, realtor yes, an right experienced here. Realtor. Yes, yes. <laughs> but so tell us a little bit how you do kind of walk a seller through those competitive bids and also how you would walk a buyer through making mm -hmm. one of okay. those competitive bids. Okay. The seller, I mean, what we're going to do is I'm going to put those terms in a spreadsheet and I'm going to write down, you know, this this, this, this is the terms on each one of these. If you have seven or eight, spell them out, pull out those terms. And then I, I kind of hide the agent and all of that because we want it to be just what's the best offer and not make them buy, you know, we're going to have them choose for their, from their mind about and not just from their, oh, I like that agent or not. So right, I okay. lay it out there. And um, two, if I have one in the mix, I don't want that to, to be any sort of thing that would get them to choose it. So we lay them out there, let them see all the terms. And that's kind of what we do and choose and talk through their needs. And as a buyer, we go through each set of the terms. Like, do you need an inspection? Do you have a friend that can walk through as we're looking at it that knows about things? Uh, What's it matter about your close date? When do you have to be here? All of those terms are going to be important that you're going to talk to the, to the buyers about. Okay. Well, that was excellent advice. Thank you so yes. much for sharing it with us. And we can't wait to see your commercial. Oh, great. Yep. And we'll see you again soon.